Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs>
over dinner. So do that, and then tomorrow we're hitting the trails. Look forward to it. It's gonna be wet. It's gonna be slippery. Probably a lot of recovery stuff gonna go down. So I don't know. It'll be fun. I'm I'm looking forward to it. It'll be interesting. We'll see how it goes. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so it's the next morning. Uh, yeah, we're in no real hurry today. We're just kind of hanging out, had some breakfast. Last night, just kind of chilled by the fire. It was really nice. I was exhausted, so I went to bed pretty early. Crashed hard. So uh, We just got to pack up the tents, get the awning down, and then we're going to head out to the trail. So looking forward to that. It has been raining all night. All night. Yeah. This will be interesting. I think we're be slipping and sliding quite a bit, so we'll see. See how it goes. Stay tuned. All right, airing down. Brad has these big tires. My little baby Jeep already done. Those little guys over there. So hopefully we get these done. Air down. And then we're going to hit the first trail. Uh, so far it's just been dirt road, but I'll show you guys where we're going up. This is what we're going to start with. Yeah, it's probably fine. It'll be good. We'll see. Be alright. Figure it out. First casualty. Not my deep. So while we're airing down, I think Brad has sand in one of his valves and it actually stuck open so it's just <laughs> leaking air. Luckily I have spare valves so we were able to swap it out. Now we're airing his tire just back up, it was at like 7 psi so we're getting to 13, 14 so yeah. Already having fun.
them, so. You gonna engage it? To walk halfway down the hill and help your friend. <laughs> A little bit. Belly pan. Do not go that way. All right, now it's slowly start to dip down. You're gonna to want to go to the right of that tree. So the camera. Yeah, made it. Boom. That was super sketch. <laughs> Thanks, Brad, for finally deciding to spot me towards the end. Oh my god! <laughs> about my Jeep.
this trail is no joke. Man, we just hit the first couple obstacles. I had to be winched several times, uh, but man, they're gnarly. Yeah, my Jeep's not quite built for this. Still doing it though, I'm trying to finish. So yeah, if you're gonna take fire break, you definitely need to have a capable vehicle. I mean, I've got two and a half inch lift, bigger tires, but it still wasn't enough. No lockers. 33s, probably 35s would have been better, but yeah. Cool trail, a lot of fun, but man, we're getting our butts kicked out here. And it's been raining, raining all day, all day. Just here, whatever. See how the rest of the trail goes. How's that rain treating you? Great. Got the most waterproof tent. <laughs> I think it's just too wet in the air. <laughs> like, fire just doesn't work even on dry paper. <laughs> Are you filming me? I am <laughs> now. <laughs> I'm only trying the fire because Corey already gave up. So we are on our way out. Uh, just pulled in, found a nice little campsite off the side of the mountain in some trees, and it rained all night. And it's still raining. So we are soaked. Everything is soaked, but uh, it was good. It was a good time. Now we're just heading out. We're gonna go find a place to eat, get dry for a minute, and then uh, head home. So. Still got quite a bit of a drive ahead of me. And then I need to air out everything in this Jeep and clean it. Probably see some mud from yesterday. <laughs> oh man, that trail was nuts. I still can't believe we did it. Can't believe I did it in this thing. But man, that was cool. So yeah, now just to drive home on the road. Still got a ways, but uh, man, that was, that was a fun trip, really cool, super excited. Uh, my buddy's Jeep is, as you see in the video, well built, way better than mine. Uh, I'm pretty sure he made giant boulders look like little pebbles. Uh, 
Yeah, it's, cra it's crazy the difference that you see. Two and a half inch lift, 33s, bumpers, you know, it's a capable Jeep. His just drove over it though. Mine, I, I had to work. I mean, that, that Firebreak 5 trail, I should not have been on. This Jeep should not have gone on there. But we did it, we completed it, which was cool. Only had to winch twice, which is money. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know, his Jeep's just way nicer. So I think we were talking, I think I'm gonna add, I need to update the suspension. One, to handle the weight, because I didn't really know that when I first started, and I just did a Terraflex two and a half inch lift. But I didn't really understand coils and the weight and that kind of thing, and so I bought them out a lot. And I've even replaced the coils from the original lift. I bought their Terraflex Overland coils, and I still bought them out. So we were kind of talking on the drive, and I was like, yeah, I might need to upgrade to uh, adjustable suspension. Because one, I drive this often. It's not just a, you know, a trail Jeep. So I need it to ride without the weight, but then I need it to ride well with the weight. So that may be in the future, coming up, gonna update the suspension. I think I need to, I think it's important. So I think we're gonna do that. Um, yeah, haven't checked the damage underneath yet from that trail, because I definitely bounced off some rocks and stuff. So it was, it was gnarly, but it was fun. I'm glad we did it, it was cool. Great experience, so uh, he's on his way back to Idaho. I'm back on my way to Washington. And yeah, it was a it was a good trip overall. A lot, a lot learned, a lot learned from this little weekend trip. So I know he's got a list of things. I've got a list. So the Jeep did great. I I can't complain. I think that just shows the capability of Jeep Wranglers in general. I mean those tra that trail Fire Break Five, that trail this Jeep should not have done. But just in its natural state as a Wrangler, you're able to, to handle stuff like that. We took another trail on the way back, on the way out, we didn't mean to, but we found it. And it was tight, like super tight corners, really tight trail. And I don't, I think in the Forerunner, I wouldn't have made it. I mean, the Jeep just, it, it's its own animal. It's got its own platform and that's why I like it. It's super capable stock super capable just as is and uh, I wouldn't have been able to do the things I did this weekend if I was in something other than a Jeep Wrangler I just I don't think I would have fit so fun trip glad we went it was a it was a whole thing so that's it for this video guys I hope you liked it if you want more of this definitely let me know down in the comment section if you're into it, hit the subscribe button. I would appreciate it. And uh, we'll just keep making videos. Uh, it's fun. It's something I love. So, all right. I think that's it. I'm going to drive home. We out.